Hey there folks. Now one of the most common questions I get on all of my kayak fishing for salmon videos is what net am I using? And the net's probably one of the most important pieces of equipment you're going to use because this is what ultimately puts the fish in your boat. So I've actually been on a long quest to find uh, the perfect uh, salmon net for kayak fishing. It's pretty challenging because most nets on the market are designed primarily for powerboat anglers, so they have much longer handles than we need, and they're very heavy because they're designed to be used in two-handed operations. So when you're in a kayak, the geometry is very different, and it's very challenging because you're usually trying to fight the fish with one hand and net the fish with the other while also controlling your kayak at the same time. So it's a very challenging thing putting a salmon in this net. So over the past several years, I've gone through all the major manufacturers. I've gone through Beckman, Ranger, and Frable, and tried a lot of different nets, spent way too much money on this. So I decided I'd just make this video today uh, to hopefully save you some time and some headache. All of these nets have some strengths and weaknesses that might be best suited for you, but in terms of my needs, I'm gonna rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite. So let's get started with my least favorite. And this is my latest purchase actually. This is a Beckman hoop here. This is a 22 by 27 inch hoop. They all measure them kind of differently. So even if you buy standard hoops, they might actually be a little bit wider than they say. Um, rarely are they actually narrower than they say. So I'll give them that much credit. So this is 22 this way, 27 that way plenty big enough to turn and get a king salmon to fit into, and more than ample for smaller salmon like coho and sockeye. This has a rubber coated nylon mesh that is what they say 15 inches deep. I'm assuming that's from the rim down to this flat bottom here that you can see. And that's deep enough. Um, I actually prefer them a little bit deeper uh, so that when that fish slides in there, oftentimes when I'm messing around with things in, in the kayak and I have this hanging over the side, sometimes this will tip. And I like that extra depth so that the fish can't accidentally swim out um, when I'm doing that and not paying attention. Uh, I do like the rubber coated nylon. It's a little bit easier when you're releasing those wild fish. Now the hoop section of this Beckman net will set you back around $70. Now I went ahead and upgraded to the carbon fiber uh, handle from Patriot Factory. This is available through Angler's West website. I got a custom four foot long a carbon fiber handle. You might be, well, why did I do that? Well, one of the big challenges when netting a salmon is just the weight of these things. Um, they're very heavy. They especially tend to be a little bit heavy on the end just because of the net itself it adds quite a bit of weight. But, you know, when you're sitting there waiting to stab on a salmon and you've got it close and you're fighting it and then it takes a little bit of line and you've got to set this thing down and pick it up, it really starts to fatigue. And there's actually a lot of weight out here on the end of this net and you can't sit there and hold it forever, um, especially when they're heavy. And so I'm always looking to go as light as possible. Also a lighter net is more likely to float rather than sink right away. This is a sealed handle, so it does trap some air. It's going to help prevent this thing from sinking really quickly because there's just one tiny hole to accommodate the button up here. So this does slide like any other handle. So it's, the handle itself uh, does help reduce the weight overall, but this, this hoop here on the end is very, very heavy. I went with a 48 inch handle. Generally, I'm gonna stick between 36 and 48. I find 48 to be just about at the maximum length. Where I'm gonna prop that handle up against inside here and the inside of the arm to give me a little bit more support when I'm going to stab for a fish. So overall, this net weighs 2.4 pounds, which is fairly light, um, especially for a uh, handle length of four feet. Uh, but that's still just a little bit too heavy for my liking compared to other models that I've used. I just feel like it's a little too heavy. And the real kicker is, is with this hoop and this handle and shipping and all that, I spent over $200 on this net. And overall, I'm just kind of disappointed with it. Um, you know, the, the handle itself is a hundred bucks and then all the taxes and things. And really I thought I was gonna get something that uh, was very lightweight and would perform better than some of the other nets I have. But overall, I'm just kind of disappointed in it. Um, it's an okay net, um, but definitely not my favorite. 
Okay, up next is my Ranger Tournament Series True Blue Net. Now this is a 48 inch handle that I actually cut down just ever so slightly uh, to 40 inches. And the reason I did that is because this thing is, uh, is very heavy. Now it's the largest hoop size of any net that I own for salmon. Um, you know, you can get the massive hoop sizes if you want to go up, but the bigger the hoop size, the more weight you're going to be dealing with. My goal is to minimize the amount of weight so I have a lighter net that I can more easily handle and hold on to when I'm fighting those fish close to the boat. Like the Beckman, this is a rubberized nylon mesh, but much deeper, this 24, 25 inches uh, to the bottom of this flat mesh. Uh, so it's, it's very deep. When a fish goes in here, it's gonna stay in here. I don't have to worry about it bouncing out or anything like that. Um, they also have this, just comes in a, a black uh, version as well, but the blue is kind of sexy out there. And it also adds to my visibility as a kayak angler because it is very bright. It has an octagonal handle rather than a round handle like the Beckman handle. And because of that, uh, when you're sliding this, you don't have to worry about it uh, getting off of the button. So you don't have to try and find that button in there. Um, so you can just slide it straight down. It's always going to be on the right track. Uh, it actually only retails for about uh, $70, $80 online. Most of them I've seen have been closer to $70, so it's a pretty uh, good value. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's extremely heavy. These octagonal uh, handles, I mean, they're very robust. They're not going to bend or break on you. Uh, but this thing weighs 2.8 pounds. That is just very heavy. When I'm trying to reach this thing out, I can just feel so much force pushing down on it because of all of this uh, rubberized nylon mesh, it's extremely heavy. Additionally, and like the Beckman net as well, is they have these uh, little rubberized bumpers here on the end of the handle. Now these things are, uh, add quite a bit of thickness and on most standardized kayaks, uh, these things just barely fit into the vertical rod holders behind you. So when I'm reaching behind me, I got to get that pull angle just right or else these things catch really bad. I end up a lot of times cutting these things off and adding my own rubberized uh, wrap on there like you would use for like tennis rackets or something. And it does catch and it can actually crack your uh, rod holder that's embedded in your kayak. I've done it. I've actually broke two this way. Uh, these things are just a real pain. So you either have to cut them off and add your own or go with a different brand that doesn't have this oversized uh, rubberized piece on the end. It doesn't really add anything for me. And when, like it's designed for, you know, somebody to be holding it and stabbing like this with their buddy on the boat. We're not doing that in the kayak. We're doing something like this, right? Like if they wanted to put rubberized pieces, they should put it up here because a lot of times we're bracing this up against her forearm and stabbing. This is where the, the grippy part should be. We don't grip down here. That's just crazy. I mean, my wrist can't handle that. So it's not really designed with kayakers in mind. And that's part of the problem, right? Nobody's paying attention to uh, our needs in, the, in that industry. That being said, still a really quality net, great customer service. Um, I've worked with Ranger Nets a lot and I've had no problems with them when I've had issues with their nets. They've replaced components uh, quite quickly. Uh, without uh, any question. So a good brand, um, just not exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to a salmon net. Okay, and my third and final and favorite net is my Featherlight net. And this is actually the Fraybill Scoop Net. This thing weighs absolutely nothing. Uh, it's an amazing net, uh, especially for its cost. This thing will retail for right around 60 to $65. So it's a really good value net. And it only comes in one size. It's a 21 by 25. They measure across the middle here, which it is 21, but the net actually flares outward a little bit towards the end. So you actually are closer to like 23 or 24 at this entry point where the fish is coming in. You've got this deep 25 here. So you've got plenty of space to slide a king salmon in there. It comes with a 36 inch aluminum tube handle. Uh, this is an older model, so they have this rubberized end on it, but it's thinner, so it goes in and out of the rod holders a lot easier. The new ones just have a cap, and so the metal goes all the way to the bottom, and uh, it fits in there really nice. 
It has this very interesting scoop design, which I find to be great for the type of angle that we stab at, because we're stabbing at that shallow angle. So when I stab and I pull a fish up into this net, and then I tilt the net up on the side of the kayak, and I have this across my lap, look at this. This thing is actually pointing upwards. So even if I lean over a little bit while I'm working on things in the kayak, no problem. I've still got a, a really good protection here in terms of the fish being able to flop its way out. Now, I'm not a big fan of these knotted uh, nylon nets, but they are extremely deep. This is 36 inches deep, so once a fish goes in here, it's in the bag. It isn't going to come out. In addition, you have that scoop design. This thing weighs 1.6 pounds. That's it. It's nothing. 36 inch handle. I can, I can choke way down further on it. So in reality, I have a longer handle because I'm not having to go way down on it to get that extra support along my forearm like I have to do on these heavier nets. So in reality, even though I have a shorter handle, uh, I actually have basically the same length handle. So that's why this has actually become my go-to net. They retail for about 65 bucks online. The new ones have a black aluminum uh, net frame. Uh, the only bummer about Fraybill is they really don't offer a good replacement net for this. So I've been looking to upgrade this one to a rubberized nylon net, which will probably add you know, another quarter to a half pound, but it's still gonna be a full half pound lighter than any of those other nets. Okay, so I will put links to all of these nets below. And if you have any questions or suggestions about other salmon nets, some people might prefer other materials uh, for nets, like they might prefer the rubber. I don't because it just adds more weight, which is why I tend to favor the rubberized mesh. I feel like it's a good compromise between these knotted nylon and uh, the rubberized. But I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. And uh, yeah, hope you get out there and scoop a few salmon up. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye, guys.